this is, the, this is really the slide that you must remember. What is going to help your audience remember what you say? Is it that you have a very clever idea? Well, clever ideas help, but it's not the main thing. The main thing that gets your idea out of your head and into theirs is your enthusiasm for it. I cannot overstate this enough. If you seem to be enthusiastic about your idea, your audience's minds open up. It's sort of miraculous. It's like a factor of ten difference. Right? That uh, somehow, if you convey this massive, you know, life force enthusiasm for the things that you're describing, you know, functional programming is just your whole life, and this particular method of doing evaluation has transformed your life. You know, if you, if you can convey this, this, uh, this enthusiasm to them, they will, they will say, well, at least it's important to somebody. <laughs> Um, very often, usually through nervousness, speakers have a, a stand in one place and, and, and give a kind of monotonous, um, as in monotone, presentation that makes the audience think, well, they don't seem very keen on this idea, so why should I be? They don't think that consciously, but that's what happens subconsciously. Whereas if it seems to the audience that you know nothing else in the world exists for you at this moment, their minds really do open. And it's a fantastic effect. It's, um, and unfortunately, it's also a sort of personality oriented one. Some people are naturally more, but find it more easy to wave their arms about and, and, and than others. But all I can say is for, for, the, um, uh, for those of you who are, are naturally um, more uh, restrained in your, um, uh, in the way you project yourselves, this is really worth working at. Uh, it's almost worth making it an act, right? But then, because Actually, you probably are enthusiastic about your subject. The reason you're presenting is probably, well, I hope it is, because you are interested in your idea and you do think it's exciting. So then you just need to find a way to convey that to the audience. And I, I don't know what it takes you. I, I just you know, run around and wave my arms, and I find it's also very helpful to, to uh, uh, eliminate uh, signs of nervousness when you're moving around a lot. But, you, but um, you've, got, you've got to find some way to do this. It's, if you don't seem enthusiastic, you'll, the effectiveness of your talk will be, be reduced by not just the factor of two, it'll be sort of a factor of ten or so, something very large. It's enormously important. And I, I don't know how to give any more specific advice about how to, how to get with that, other than you know, talk to your friends, uh, do whatever it takes, go to gym class or something. Uh, anything to, to just allow you to feel able to project enthusiasm to your audience. And it's not just an act, because it's true. Well, I hope it's true. I mean, if you are presenting papers and you think it's pretty boring, maybe you should uh, not. <laughs> um, and of course, apart from making the audience more receptive, remember it's after lunch and they can't sleep? If you dance around and stand on chairs and so forth, they will get one side. <laughs>